Hey, Leo. Leo. It's MJ. We're going to do your May 2024 intuitive tarot readings. So let's get straight into it. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Uh, I think like I just said in the title. And I obviously interpret the cards and the messages intuitively. So make sure you be resonating. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe. I super appreciate your guys' love and support. It makes a big difference in, I think, all of our lives when we find uh, more loving support and people who believe in us, people who want the best for us. And my intention with Tarot is to offer you divine guidance and loving clarity. I always want people to feel like you're your own master uh, people and we don't, you know, unless we really give that power out. Uh, the, the cards have no power over us. We're simply using them as tools to insight, right? Uh, into energies, energies and going on in our vortex. So Leo, divine guidance and loving clarity. Let's get into it. Divine guidance and loving clarity. Divine guidance and loving clarity. I feel like some of you walked away from a potential new beginning. Yeah, there was a, I think an offer or potential to move like here, come over here, do this. Yeah, you definitely didn't chose not to go down that route. So intuitively, I'm thinking intuitively, you were like, I just didn't, you weren't maybe excited about it or um, it's almost like maybe intuitively you could sense the path of this situation and that it wouldn't come off like some, and it, I mean, with the eight of cups would, would be indicative of the, yeah, the offer was a bit of a false offer. So Knight of Pentacle in, in the reverse, uh, it was a little, there was a little bit of maybe ego or like, yeah, this, this will do this. And if you do this, this way, you'll, you'll get this. And you're like, mm, I'm not sure if that's really going to work out for me. So you're, you're deciding to end something. This is definitely a closure, 10 of swords, eight of cups. Like you're walking away. I don't want to do it like this anymore. I'm going to choose to do it different. Divine guidance, loving clarity for Leo, divine guidance and loving clarity. Yeah, you guys are, there's some people here, this Knight of Pentacles, this King of Swords reverse. These could be people within the workplace or within this situation that you're, um, it's almost like their words and actions don't line up. I weirdly just now got a feeling of like, this could be a father or son duo or a familial business, a father son team that you've had, that you've been employed by or been made an offer to um, maybe uh, take on more responsibility with the Hierophant. Uh, they're wanting to give you a key to the, to the management office or something like that. And there's some, the Ten of Swords is like clear. You're like, mm, you've looked over the contract or you're looking over this offer and you're like, mm, I don't think so. And again, that's that's a really positive decision for you because these people are in the reverse. Whatever they're offering, whatever they're selling, uh, whatever they're projecting isn't maybe what they want it to be, isn't exactly how it is. And your intuition is like, mm, uh, you have an ability here, Leo, to kind of float ab above. Six of Swords in this deck is to me a lot about taking the high road or being able to see through some some bull as it were uh you know like sniffing out just pardon my pardon this angle you guys sorry um i'm trying to fix that light so uh yeah like you're you're becoming more intuitive intuitive uh aspect can help us sense those subtleties within a dynamic hence you're getting a better perspective and thinking actually no, thank you. We're all respectful. You know, there's no, you're not in any kind of uh, negative position. You just actually are in a very powerful position here, Leo, with an ability. It's like that ability to just hold this space rather than making a move right away. You're really piercing beyond the veil. You're like, I feel like for some of you here, you really are starting to get a fresh new perspective on things, which is going to be really beneficial for your future forward. We've had that juicy Uranus and Jupiter conjunction, which is triggering a 14 year cycle for a lot of us, which has, you know, depending on where it is in our, in our chart, that can be really kicking off, um, 
an expansion in our creativity, an expansion in our, let's see what it says for you here. Maybe for some of you, an expansion in your spirituality. Some of you, the death card has just popped up. That's immediately making me think of a spiritual transformation. Some of you might be committing to your own transformational journey, spirituality, right? Uh, super strong. And that's, I think, part of the shift is that I, I, I feel like for some of you, you're not enticed by uh, maybe things you were enticed by before. You're not being pulled in by maybe certain you know, classic example would be like a job that offers loads of cash. And yet you're like, mm, is it worth it though? Genuine, you know, knowing how valuable your life force is at this point. An offer maybe 10 years ago where you're like, the dream offer, loads of cash, I'm going to be able to buy all this stuff, etc. At this stage of life, you're like, ooh, one, do I want all that stuff to what will I have to compromise or sacrifice for the dangled carrot, right? And and that's so often the way we sacrifice our life force. We sacrifice time with our families and people we love. We sacrifice our personal well-being, you know, to, to um, hold up the kind of economic status, as it were. And, and so I feel like a lot of you are kind of shaking up your foundations a bit with regards to your, truly I'm feeling like spirituality, your, your connection to God, your connection to source, your, the, the, your joie de vivre, the reason you're here. Um, and this is part of that kind of simultaneity or the trigger which is having you maybe walk away from something or end something or uh, not take on a new beginning. I feel like the new beginning would be within a role. Like you're working in a company and then they offer you another job within that company. Uh, and you're you're done. You're done. Ten, of Swords, Ten of Swords is a done deal. You're like, I mm, thank you, but no. And plus Eight of Cups. You're walking away or you've emotionally detached. You already emotionally walked away. You might just be having a few final words or a few final things to be like, mm, thanks. Severance package I'm hearing or redundancy, the three of pentacles. Some of you are going to be given a little bit of a kickback here just to probably help set yourself up and or give yourself that healing space. Hmm. You know, having enough to supplement three months worth of work or I might give you some time to make some investments to give back to a child in your life. There's things, this is part of rest and I guess in a sense, spirit, spiritual practice is like life's happening. It's gonna keep happening. There, there's an expression of like, you know, make it happen. I, um, I don't particularly align with that stuff, nor do I align with like hustle culture. Not Certainly not from like a yogic well-being perspective you know i think systematically we need to learn to rest more create more be in that timeless flow more have a, obviously as a whole entire planet really endeavor to embody and learn how to have healthy relationships and um, interactions with people and just a, a complete radical paradigm shift right so I mean, individually, the fact that we're going through these transformations, individually, the fact that we're taking on uh, more shadow work and kind of higher consciousness work is a big part of the broader collective change, right? We're seeing a lot more of the kind of uh, eco-friendly or the zero waste products being sold and or even implemented. You know, there, there are changes, but the changes are going to continue. A lot of it does have to do with our community. Leo, as, as far as like that Leo energy has a lot to do with leadership. So some of you are just, you just know who you are, know what you don't want anymore, and then go after what you want. For some of you, it's a strong sense of like family community your local community and really letting go laying down um the past energies right where a lot of it's smoke and mirrors past energies of grandiosity that don't come off right when people are in the reverse there can be that um you know a slight tendency to uh what's the word drama tra dramatize dramatize something or sensationalize something for an effect but um, I feel like you guys have just gone through enough change or transformation where you're just different. 
You want stability. You want uh, mutual respect in, in those foundational relationships. You're on, on just a really simple general level. You just don't want what you wanted once. You just, you just don't want the same things. There's another type of flame burning. And for, again, for a lot of you, it's more grounded. It's more grounded and more community oriented, more healing. Some of you guys are just, you, some of you guys might be walking away from like a big job, a big corporate job and moving toward like a healing modality. If you've, for some reason, I'm thinking of things like acupuncture, sort of massage or any, any form of healing modality. I'm singing bowls, stuff like that, where you're picking up this new gift and you, that is the flame that's what you want to share you teaching yoga that kind of thing and you're like how do i be practical grounded to make this new option work for me because again it's it's good for you it's good for your community and for some of you as you step into these new foundations the mini card popped up it always makes you think of like uh be mindful of your own energy in your mind, like your inner critic, you being mean to yourself, but also, of course, be mindful of people. I'm thinking, especially if you're making some sort of substantial career move, beware of other people's like doubtful thoughts or naysayers, like, oh, you're leaving a secure, you know, whatever. People that will say something in the midst of our change that just totally makes us be like, oh, fuck, have I made the wrong choice? Or like, what are they? And like, straight up legit, the majority of people that like say those types of things have no idea what you're even talking about. <laughs> you know, like, and or flip it around where you have taken risks and leaps that those people don't understand and or it triggers their fear. Remember that a lot of times people are just regurgitating their, their own state of consciousness. Right. So like, Oh no, that's so scary. You're like, Oh shit. Is it? It's not to you, but it is to them. <laughs> but, but of course that's the whole sense of transference of power. If you want to make them more powerful than you and take on their fear, you can do that. Um, I don't think you are. I think, again, Six of Swords, Leo, you have risen yourself. You have an ability now. You've probably been on the path. You've done some work on yourself. You have an ability to, like, rise up above, get perspective on things so that you make a, a good, a positive choice for where you're at. And I'm thinking just the Three of Pentacles. It's like your values have changed. You just don't want the same things any, anymore. So the same offers and the same people don't feel, look, or or, or kind of have the same magnetism to you. And now you're like, I, I want to feed the flame. I want to work on healing modalities. I want to focus on my local community. And that, that just feels really peaceful and grounded to me. So I'm like, well done, Leo. This is all looking good. Remember that meaning energy. Just be mindful of your own inner critic and certainly uh, not taking on other people's definitely mean, but uh, even negative or energies that just somehow make you feel like doubtful or like off skis. Just remember, like, it, you don't have to take it on. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Have a great month of May. Let me know if that resonates with you guys. Uh, thank you all for supporting Ultra Love and Ultra Love TV. Feel free to check out uh, the Vibratories, the merchandise line, which is uh, just me creating stuff to share and, uh, you know, propagate more love in the world. Just shine more love into the world. Holla, 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 my lovers. Lots of love for you. Peace out, Leo. I'll speak to you real soon. Take care.